in the series of angiospermic family. First, we are going to describe the important family of angiosperm digard, that is rosaceae. Rosaceae is one of the important family. In this video, I give you first the diagnostic features of family Rosaceae. What are the diagnostic features to differentiate this family from the rest of the families? Then I will give you the technical description of different flower parts and the vegetative parts of this family. After this, I give you a very unique tips how to prepare the floral diagram floral formula and at last I give you the economic importance and the general distribution of family rosaceae. This lecture and information is a very useful for FSC level students, BS level students, BS botany, BS agriculture and BS biology who study the course of diversity of the vascular plants, angiosperms, taxonomy, systematics and biodiversity. There are two important characters we describe a family first is the vegetative characters and second is the floral character here you see the vegetative characters of family rosaceae the vegetative character of family rosaceae consists of root stem and leaves the root of this plants are mostly tap root system or fibrous adventitious root system while the habit of this family includes herbs, shrubs and the woody plants. Mostly the plants belong to this family are woody shrubs and they are perennial in nature. Here you see the leaf of family rosaceae. Leaf of the family rosaceae contains simple and compound leaves. Here in case of rosa indica the leaves are compound. Here you see it is a complete leaf lamina which is divided into odd number leaflets that is one two three four and five so this is called as compound pinnate leaves where the leaves arise you see here the stipules this and this is called as stipule and these stipules are united are fused to the petiole and they are united to the stem so this is called as adnate stipule adnate stipule is the diagnostic character of family rosaceae here you see the venation pattern of leaf of Rosa Indica or family Rosaceae. Single midrib and veins network. So this is called as a unica state and reticulate leaf venation. The stem of family Rosaceae are mostly woody that contain prickles. Here you see different types of the prickles, sometimes spines and sometimes these prickles are too much sharp. The stem of family rosaceae is cylindrical and contains branches. So it is a woody stem with contained pickles, sometimes spines and the stem is cylindrical in nature. Now I would like to describe the floral character of family rosaceae. First the inflorescence type of rosaceae. In rosaceae the inflorescence is mostly racemose, sometimes cymos and mostly in case of rosa genus it is a solitary flower. Here you see it is a solitary flower that arises from the axil of the leaves. So this is called a solitary axillary flower. When the flower arises from the axil of the leaves and it is a single, it is called as solitary axillary flower. Now I describe the floral character of family rosaceae. In case of family rosaceae, the flower is complete. Here you see it is a complete flower that consists of pedicel, calyx. Here you see the sepals that is calyx the corolla that is petals and here you see the androecium that consists of stamens and the reddish color that is the gynoecium. So the flower that contain calyx, corolla, androecium and gynoecium that is called as a complete flower. The flower of family rosaceae consists of both male and female part that is a bisexual or hermaphrodite. So the uh, symmetry of the flower is regular that is actinomorphic. It is a complete flower, pedicellate and perigynous flower. The perigynous flower is that flower where the ovary is neither above nor below to the other parts of the flower. So the, all the different parts that is sepals, 
पेटल स्टेम सराउंड द ओवरी दिस इज कॉल्ड एज पेरीगाइनस फ्लॉर व्हिच इज अ डायग्नोस्टिक करैक्टर ऑफ फैमिली रोजेसी दिस इज हियर यू सी द बेसिक ओवरी एंड ऑल डिफरेंट पार्ट दैट इज सेपल्स पेटल्स आई रिमूव्ड द स्टेम आर ऑल सराउंडिंग द ओवरी नाइदर दे अबव नॉर दे बिलो दिस इज कॉल्ड एज अ पेरीगाइनस फ्लॉर The first part of flower is calyx that consists of greenish leaf like structure known as sepals. Here we can count 1 2 3 4 and 5. The sepals are five in number they are united at the base so it is called as a gamosepals. The calyx consists of five sepals and they are gamosepals. Here you see it is a corolla corolla consist of a colorful petals and in case of family rosaceae the petals are five and multiple of five that is multiple in numbers they are arranged in a imbricate manners and here you see imbricate manner is the overlapping manners of the petals the petals are free from each other so this is called as polypetals so the corolla of family rosaceae consist of petals of five are multiple of five they are free in each other that is polypetals they are of different colors here you see it is a third whorl of the family rosaceae that is androecium androecium is a male part of family rosaceae that consists of needle like structure known as stamens in case of family rosaceae the stamens are numerous in number and they are free from each other so we you can use a term that is polyandrous sometimes the stamens are united at the base but in case of family rosaceae they are free from each other so it is polyandrous Here you see it is the innermost whorl of family rosaceae that is gynoecium. Gynoecium is a female part of family rosaceae. Gynoecium in case of family rosaceae consists of one to numerous carpels. So this are these are the female part of family rosaceae. Now I am removing all different parts to show you the arrangement of different parts of the flower in case of family rosaceae. Here I removed the petals, the stamens, the stigmas to show you the ovary. We have removed the stamens and the stigmas of family rosaceae. Here you see it is a needle-like structure that is called as stamen, the filaments, and the solen part that is called as anther, which contain pollen. Now I dissect the ovary of flower rosa to show you. the seeds and rosa ovary here you see the seeds of rose flower this is called as exile presentation the technically fruit of family rosaceae is called as drupe pom or etherio of the drupe the fruit of the family rosaceae is also another important diagnostic character of family rosaceae Now I cut the fruit of apple to show you the ovary and the seeds and the ovules arrangement in ovary. Here you see the characteristic ovary of family Rosaceae. Here you see one, two, three, four, and five. So the ovary is pentalacular, and the presentation of the seeds and ovules in the axil of the ovary. that is called as exile presentation so this is exile presentation which is also another important features of family rosaceae here i show you the seeds of family rosaceae these seeds are known as non endospermic seeds here i show you the seed of family rosaceae the seeds are non endospermic and they are covered with the testa now we can write the floral formula of family rosaceae floral formula basically represent the floral descriptions of the flowers first it is a symbol of actinomorphic here you see the plus and circle this is a actinomorphic representation of the flower of rosaceae then we draw the circle with arrow 
and below it is plus so this is the symbol of bisexualness that is the flower of family rosaceae are bisexual and hermaphrodite here it is k k represent the calyx that consists of sepals i have already shown you the sepals of family rosaceae are five in number and they are united to each other so we can write the five in brackets that represent the gamosepalous nature of the flowers of family rosaceae c represent the corolla the corolla i shown you the petals in case of rosaceae are numerous in numbers and they are free from each other that is polypetalous so we use this symbol that is infinity that is the petals are numerous in number a present the androecium androecium in case of family rosaceae where the stamens are also numerous in number and they are free from each other that is polyandrous i have shown you the gynoecium gynoecium is represented by g and the carpels are 1 to 5 and sometime they are united and most of the cases in case of family rosaceae the carpels are united to each other so five and they are united and the ovary is superior sometimes they are five and united to each other in some genera but mostly the gynoecium consist of numerous carpels and they are united to each other and ovary is superior while in some genera they are five in number so this is a complete floral formula of family rosaceae that is the actinomorphic bisexual calyx that is sepals are five in number they are gamosepalous petals are numerous in number and they are free from each other that is polypetalous androecium they are numerous in number they are free from each other that is polyandrous gynoecium the carpels are five and multiple of fives Uh, sometimes one five or number of fives and this is underlined present the ovary is superior in position now i draw the floral diagram of family rosaceae before you draw the floral diagram just have a point this is called as a mother axis where the flower arises first we draw the sepals sepals i already told you they are five in number and they are united with each other so i draw the five sepals they are gamosepalous so these are the five sepals that they are gamosepalous you can show the sepals they are greenish in color so you can fill up this by green color just for remembrance now i will draw the petals that is a second whorl of the flower that is corolla corolla in case of family rosaceae consist of numerous petals and they are imbricate to each other and they mostly present in different whorls that is they are arranged in a whorl manners and they are many in numbers these are the petals that is polypetalous now we draw the androecium that consist of stamens and stamens are also many in numbers that is numerous in numbers that consist of anthers and filaments and free from each other here i present the fourth whorl that consist of a uh, ovary gynoecium and the carpels are numerous in number so this is a complete floral diagram that consist of calyx corolla androecium and gynoecium the family rosaceae has a large number of commercial values and it is the third most important commercial family of angiosperm mostly represented in different colder and tropical and temperate regions of the world there are about 100 genera and 2000 species worldwide distribution the most popular genus or genera of this family includes rosa
papyrus prunus fregaria important family with respect to the fresh fruits dry fruit that contain plum apples peaches pears cherry raspberry and number of the dried fruits that contain almonds apricot and some other important fruits of family rosaceae family rosaceae is also one of the important family with respect to the economic values most of the members of family rosaceae are cultivated as ornamental plant in garden parks and making a beautiful scenarios and ornamental values they have a uh, strong aromatic scent so they are one of the important flowers that they are used in aroma therapy the members of family rosaceae have also commercial values add a number of the plants especially the petals of rose flowers are used for extraction of the essential oils they are also used for number of disorder they are used for the eye disorders also used for making gulkan that has a strong uh, digestive properties that is also one of the important commercial product that obtained from the petals of the family rosaceae there are a number of the plant that are used to extract the oils and these oils have a medicinal application they are used for the skin or cosmetical industries the essential oils obtained from the different parts of the flowers of rosaceae have a large number of application in industries for making different perfumeries cosmetics shampoos soaps